If you have between $750 to $800 bucks to spend on a new gaming PC build and you want a really good performance at 1080p but also 1440p resolution, then this video is going to be for you. I will show you an all-white gaming PC that's going to be amazing and I will also show you the estimated gaming performance for both 1080p and 1440p resolution. You will have all the links to the components I will mention down below in the video description and you will also have a black alternative if you are not into white PCs. That being said, let's start. First, let's talk about the two most important components, the CPU and the GPU. For the CPU, we have the AMD Ryzen 5 5600, which is a really good budget processor, 6 cores, 12 threads, and it's going to get the job done at 1080p and 1440p. And if you want to play high demanding CPU titles such as Fortnite, CSGO, or Valorant, you will be able to run these type of games at above 240 FPS, depending on the settings. And then for the GPU, we have the RTX 4060. This one is one of the latest GPUs from Nvidia and for the price of 280 bucks I don't hate it. On a 15 game average at 1080p, the 4060 was able to average 91 FPS so you will be able to run games at 1080p high to ultra settings really comfortable and then on that same test 15 game average on high to ultra settings at 1440p, the 4060 was able to average 61 FPS. So whether you want a high refresh rate monitor at 1080p or you want a 60 plus FPS on average experience at 1440p, in most titles the 4060 will be a good choice. However, if you want to see more in detail some of the games that were tested and the estimated FPS on average on each game, in the description you will find the estimated performance for different titles and different resolutions. But overall, for 1080p high FPS or 1440p, this one is amazing and also you can turn on the upscaling from Nvidia DLSS to make your FPS even higher. Now let me show you the Y components I chose for this system. I went with the ID Cooling SE214 XT for the CPU cooler wide edition. Honestly, you can get away with the stock cooler, so if you want to save 18 bucks, you can do that and then paint the stock cooler yourself. Then for the motherboard, we have the ASRock B550M Pro 4 for $100. This one is an amazing motherboard with a ton of features for the price. Then for the memory kit, we have the Timetech Pinnacle 32 gigs of RAM 2x16 of the DR4 at 3600 MHz. And this is amazing not only for gaming, but also for content creation and streaming since you get 32 gigs of RAM instead of 16 gigs. Then for the storage, we have the Team Group MP33 1TB of Gen 3 SSD, which is going to be really fast for gaming. And you can always upgrade for more storage if you need down the line. Then for the case we have the DIY PC ARGP Q3 micro ATX mini tower case, this one looks fantastic. It already comes with 3 print style fans, really good airflow for this PC overall and I absolutely love the aesthetics of this particular case. And last but not least, the power supply, we have the Apivia Prestige 600 watt 80 plus gold power supply. This one has enough wattage for the system and is CTO rated meaning that it's meaning that the quality is decent, therefore your PC will not explode. The total price for this PC when I'm recording this video is 742 bucks but I do recommend you checking the latest prices in the description because because maybe it's a bit more expensive or maybe it's even cheaper. And then with the better alternative in my opinion is going with the RX 6700 XT. This graphics card is not white so you will have a black component in your system which is completely fine. Honestly black and white look amazing on a PC build anyway. But the reason why I believe the 6700 XT is the better option is because it's about 12% faster than the RTX 4060 and it has 12 gigs of VRAM instead of 8. On those same tests I mentioned before for the 4060, the RX 6700 XT at 1080p was able to average 103 FPS instead of 91 like the RTX 4060 and then at 1440p it was able to average 74 FPS instead of 61 so you can play more comfortable at 1440p especially on the higher settings since you get 12 gigs of VRAM which is going to be important 1440p resolution on the latest AAA titles. So if you're just going to play at 1080p and you do not want to spend anything more than $750 then sure go with the 4060 it's going to do an amazing job at 1080p but if you want to play at 1440p now or maybe you want to play at 1080p now but upgrade to 1440p later the RX 6700 XT is the much better option in my opinion and the price difference is about 30 to 40 bucks which honestly in my opinion is worth it and remember that if you want a PC build that's great as this one but you want it in black you will also have alternatives in the description and if you want PCs that are more expensive or cheaper maybe you want to spend 600 dollars or maybe you have a higher budget like a thousand 
or 1500 then you can get a much better performance at those price levels. For that reason, I do recommend you watching my latest video about the best PC builds of the month in the top right of the screen where I go over every budget, every resolution, and I also show you the estimated performance for each PC. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comment section. I will see you on the next one.